Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of the Metal Forming Minute. My name is John Weakerchess and I'm here with Eunice Mark Cooper and we're here to discuss the Eunice roller system. Uh, what do we have here today, Mark? John, this is one of our basic roller units and I just want to take a minute today to chat about the importance of adequate coil lubrication. Mark Guy, we're here to discuss the Unis roller system uh, and what separates it from other roller systems out in the marketplace today. What, uh, what makes the Unis roller system unique? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question, John. Well, there's, there's not many other people who roll the fluid onto the coil. Typically, it's a spray type application system. Um, but one thing that all metal stampers, metal formers struggle with are two things, dye life and uh, part quality. Uh, dye life is the amount of hits you have before before the dye needs to be polished and sharpened again. Sure. Um, part quality is uh, something that comes into effect when you have a deeper draw that can split. Um, there are certain things you can look at, such as tool steel, work material, things like that. The single most important factor though is lubrication. and applying that lubricant properly and where it needs to be is what's most important. So the roller system does an excellent job of applying the fluid across the entire coil, both top and bottom of the coil. Um, most commonly, a spray type applicator will only hit one side and, uh, and can lead to premature dye wear, but also poor part quality and galling. So Mark, we talked about the roller system and how it coats um, both the top and bottom of the coil stock. Can you explain a little bit about how the unit system works? Sure, yeah, so what we have here, John, is one of our 18-inch units designed to handle coil widths up to 18 inches wide, obviously. Sure. And the idea is that we're dispensing fluid inside of these roller covers. So this is held down with this pneumatic cylinder. The coil is fed through here, and a nice even coating, a programmable amount, is dispensed onto that coil as it's fed through there. So as it's fed into the dye, it has a nice coating of oil on both the top and the bottom. When you're using a common spray system, it's only doing one side only, just spraying on the top. And it's not usually a very even coverage as well. John, one, uh, one good example of why coating the coil can be so important is uh, we had one customer who went from spray systems only to a roller system. and. Uh, not only did they increase their dye life by about 15%, but they also saw some other benefits like you know, decreased amount of fluid that they were using, um, increased production because they were able to tackle tougher jobs. They had a five inch draw that oftentimes with the spray system had a lot of splitting in the coil. Uh, when they went to the roller system, they found that by coating both sides of that, they could run this job without problem. So it really increased their production as well. John, another thing I really like about the unit is it's just so in easy to integrate into a stamping line. So this unit is easy to mount to the backside of a feeder. The coil comes right out of the feeder. It's lubricated both top and bottom right before it's fed into the die. So you don't have any of those in-die spray nozzles that can be prone to moving or jostling around, uh, prone to getting knocked into the die. You're just coating that coil with a nice even coating on both sides. So Mark, it sounds like there's a lot more to stock lubrication than meets the eye. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you know, by implementing the roller system, you can reduce your fluid consumption, increase your dye life, and just have a much cleaner work area. But for any, any more information on these units or the success stories, go to our website at unist.com. That's U-N-I-S-T.com.